guys, it's Amy, your golf coach. I'm out at the beautiful Sand Canyon Country Club. Today, I'm going to show you one simple tip that's going to change your driving forever. Ta-da, we have a giveaway today, yay! I get to pick two lucky winners to get your hands on the Precision Impact Golf Training Aid. This is a tool we're going to be using in today's lesson, and also a lot of my students love using it. We've been seeing improvements like that, so I've been pretty much eager to introduce this to you guys. Stay tuned toward the end of the lesson. I'm going to show you exactly how to enter for the giveaway. Let's get started. The most common faults I see off the tee is to rush over the shot. When you're rushing over the shot, now the arms tend to take over, making your body move the incorrect way, whether you're hip spinning out or thrusting forward and the arms compensate also by either yanking through or casting, etc., etc. And you know, all of these movements are usually sort of connected together, resulting in shorter distance and slice and hook misses. If you've seen my lessons, you know I often talk about prioritizing your swing fix list. Let's just pick a number and say you have like a dozen swing fixes to make in order for you to hit great drives. If you prioritize correctly, the first swing fix you make could actually knock out more than half of things on that list, which is most ideal and that's exactly what I'm going to help you with today. All right, so before we start with that one simple tip, let's just brainstorm to find out exactly what it takes to hit your drives amazing. Number one would be a good tempo. A consistent tempo, nice pause at the top and nice speed through the ball is what we're looking for. But the most common mistakes golfers make is as I've mentioned earlier, is to rush. So there's no pause at the top. Now your body has no chance to start the downswing. Arms are taking over. You're going to have very little control over what that club face does. So you're gonna lose a lot of accuracy. Your body is not into it. So you're losing a lot of distance. So tempo is very important when it comes to great driving. Number two is that whip through the ball. That whip through the ball is very important because it creates faster club head speed through the ball, which means longer distance. In order to successfully create a nice whip, you have to be hinging well, setting the club, lagging, releasing, re-hinging. If you're struggling with any of these, then the whip is going to be very weak, resulting in shorter distance. If you have a very good whip going on, then you're gonna have more control over your release timing as well. Number three is maximizing your power. Power comes from the strength you have and how efficiently you use it. So meaning you have to coil well and then uncoil well with great weight shift. But the most common fault I see with golfers is to not use the body correctly. We see more of like hip spin out early, extending. Now the arms tend to take over the swing and now you're really minimizing the strength more than maximizing. In order to drive really well, we talked about the importance of great tempo, the whip through the ball and maximizing your power and your body movements. They're all very important and they sound so complex, but I'm going to Aim five for you, meaning making golf simple, fun, and effective. And I have one drill to fix it all. This is where Precision Impact Golf Training Aid comes into play. This is how you put it on. I'm not the strongest when it comes to like the grip and the forearm strength, so I tend to put it on nice and snug. What my students love about this tool is that it helps you set at the top. You hear the clicks, immediate feedback, so you're able to muscle memory into your body the correct swing. And then once you set the club, now you're maintaining this angle through the ball, meaning you're gonna lag beautifully. That means better compression. You're simply going to put it on, and in the beginning, I don't want you to pay attention to how you hit the golf ball. It's not important. If you've never really set the club before or lag properly, the feelings are going to be very foreign to you. So I want you to take it slower, about 50% speed in the beginning. You're just listening for the clicks. The clicks will happen and you're from like midpoint to the end of your swing, sort of like this. Here are the clicks and then hit. 
just really easy swings to get used to setting and lagging. And you have to reset like this. I mentioned the clicks should come more later in the swing. You, if you're early hinging, you'll hear some clicks in the beginning. But I've noticed with a lot of my students, when they start flipping their hands, all the clicks happen here. And then afterwards, they start lifting, zero clicks, no setting of the wrist and zero whip that way. So you end up using too much arms, just, just not what we want. So I prefer to hear the click toward the end of the swing from right here to here. And then you will feel the club resting in your index beautifully. And you feel a very long pause, what feels like, but that's what setting is. Listen for the clicks and then swing away. So once you get used to it, you can gradually get your speed back up to 100%. You will be amazed what set feels like and that lag is going to give you this great compression. So it's really hard to explain what setting and lag feels like, but with a tool like this, you can just experience it firsthand. So now for the giveaway, to enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, Love With Amy, like today's video and turn that notification bell on and comment down below We've talked about a couple of benefits you get from using this training aid. So comment down below what your concern is in your driving and how you think this precision impact golf training aid can help you. And now you're entered in about a week, we'll be picking two lucky winners so you can get your hands on these. Good luck. And for today, to help you drive it longer and straighter, we talked about the importance of the tempo, whipping through the ball and also maximizing your power. In order to do that, you have to focus on your setting and lag. This tool was giving you the immediate feedback to get you there and compress the golf ball like there is no tomorrow. Thank you so much for golfing with me today and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.